we had some good times in 1.6, me, Barry, Fries and Sede. And then um, in CSGO, some of my favorite teammates have been like Glaive, he was just an amazing team player and you see what he did in Australis. And then if you talk in-game, uh, a guy like Nico was always really good to me because he kind of knew what I was going to do and what I was going to call before I even said it and he knew how to to elevate uh, what I was calling. So I would say in-game wise, uh, Nico is also one of the, the better ones. I don't know if I would change much really. Um, I think it's it's pretty good, most of it uh, as it is. Like, I think it's also fine that Dorb is like the best weapon because it costs more. So like, there's a reason behind it. Um, so. I don't know if I would change much. Maybe uh, like I would change a bit on Dust 2, if I would say something. Like I would make the spawn set so it wasn't so random. Uh, I think Dust 2 can be kind of random uh, with the way it's played because it's so reliant on long spawns for both CT and T. And then maybe close off the mid doors. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think like we need any major changes. Maybe some updates to the map pool soon. I think uh, when we qualified first in the group at Katowice and we played uh, in the semi-final semi in Katowice in the stadium, if we go back to 1.6, um, we ended third at uh, IEM 4 uh, back then, which was uh, pretty big. That was one of my first uh, big tournaments uh, where we exceeded expectations. Then I guess also we won uh, DreamHack Atlanta and even though it wasn't a big tournament, it was one of uh, the bigger trophies that I won, so I think that one too. I don't really know, to be honest, what was my favorite CS event. I think when E-League was still present back then, it was a pretty good for a player. Like, the whole proposal was good, we were taken really well care of as players. So I think in terms of that, uh, probably E-League was, was high caliber, but uh, in terms of the stadium, it's probably Katowice or Cologne. I have a bachelor in economics and statistics and I was doing my master within it uh, when I quit to, to play in uh, Heroic, so I would probably still be in that field, I would, I would guess. There's really no story to it, uh, I think back when I was really young and uh, we in Half-Life there was like this uh, you could like spray logos and there was like this splat logo after primary school we went to like where all the children pr basically go after school we were playing there and we were call calling ourselves green splatter men and blue splatter men and we had this clan and then after that I just got that nickname and there wasn't really any fault behind it so I'm sorry With Spinks, I would probably say like a family guy because like, I guess in his culture, you are very close with your family and stuff like that. So he always has all, all these things he have to attend. So I would guess that. Dusha maybe a silent killer. He's like not the loudest person, but like he's obviously really skilled and uh, yeah, really nice guy. With Elo, I would maybe say special because like he's funny in a, in a good way. Uh, I think we share share the same humor. Dodo maybe just a nice guy. He's just a warm, good guy, to be honest. Um, so yeah, and with Saw, I guess big boss, because he is the big boss in the team. My favorite movie? I think Wolf of Wall Street was pretty funny, to be honest. I think that's one of my favorite movies. Um, yeah, if you go back in time, like probably something like Pulp Fiction, but I would say that uh, Wolf of Wall Street in newer times is one of my favorite movies, for sure. I played Dota 2, but apart from that, no, I haven't really played any other games for, for a long period. Um, I don't think I have time for it, to be honest. Um, and it's also pretty limited what time I, I, I get to play. Like, it's not a, like, a lot of time that's left to, to play other games, so... But I do play Dota 2 from time to time. Maybe, maybe Cyber, I guess. It's an obvious answer, but he's just very smart. Um, so, so he can probably catch you on the wrong foot. Um, 
Then I think uh, more like a guy like Leif, he, it's not like he's the best aimer in the world, but like I think spoke to the vice about it where he explained it pretty good, like he can make the best aimers look like noobs because he's so good at jiggle peeking and it, like professional movement in the sense that you just try to make the opponent shoot after you and miss their shot. Uh, so like, yeah, he's good at that. The best in game leader is Glaive because he's proven it for a while. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, the obvious answer. Um, yeah, Glaive. No, I don't really, I don't even have a knife skin, so I'm not a big skin guy, to be honest. Uh, but I've been playing with, I had my AWP and AK Redline for God knows how long, and I haven't really, like to me it's almost like a default skin at this point, so I would say Redline, since that's the only one, only skins I've really been using for a long time, like that I can remember I got, and then I've just been using them ever since. Very thing is that you get to live off your hobby uh, and the adrenaline uh, during matches. Just the competitive feeling is, is what I enjoy the most. The, the biggest uh, thing that I dislike is also the thing you have to sacrifice, which is basically social life, uh, traveling. Uh, we get to travel a lot, but we don't get to see a lot, if it makes sense, because we are obviously playing the tournaments. But I guess I miss just being able to spontaneously uh, go on a one, two week break, uh, travel with my girlfriend or my friends in the past. Like if we went on a skiing vacation, okay, let's go. And I was used to always being able to attend that, but since becoming a professional player, I, I really haven't been doing any of that stuff. So that's uh, the sacrifice alongside all the family stuff and weddings and birthdays. So. So yeah, that's that's definitely the thing that you sacrifice the most, I would say. I'm not a big music guy, to be honest, so... Um, but probably old school rock, something like that, I would say. But as a, it's not like I'm a, I'm, I'm a guy who, who listens to Spotify all day, to be honest. I'm biting my nails. I guess that's uh, probably my worst habit, I would say. Um, tried to stop a few times, but I keep starting again. So yeah, probably biting my nails, I would say. <laughs>